Hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. So today I've got what is probably my last official spring clothing haul. I've done quite a few of these now. I've done Zara, ASOS and a Topshop and I thought I'd finish off with an and other stories as I haven't shopped from there for a really long time and they do have some beautiful pieces online and I just haven't ordered from there for a long time so I thought I would show you some of their spring pieces. Yeah, I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration for your spring slash summer wardrobe. Whether you can wear it out or just in the garden or just at home. Yeah, hopefully you'll find some fashion inspiration from this video. If you would like to watch this little spring haul from Under the Stories then please carry on watching. <sighs> I'm getting so hot already. <laughs> so the first thing that I straight away put on my sort of basket is this sort of mint green, like mint pistachio green ruffled uh, sort of like little mini dress. I don't know if you can see it really well because it's quite a light colour. It's like like ruffled at the bottom and then the sleeves are like super like, what do you call this, like rouged. I thought this looked beautiful and I think I saw this on one of Freddie My Love's summer hauls as well and I just thought it looked adorable on her so I thought I'd pick it up as well since I'm loving like mint pistachio green at the moment. I thought this was a beautiful dress however I just didn't think it suited me. Like as soon as I put it on I was like this isn't me but I do think this would maybe suit maybe taller girls. I'm saying that because I'm quite short and I feel like, I felt like I needed to be taller for this dress. I don't know if I maybe should have got a size down. For most of under the story stuff, I usually get a 34 as that's how they do their sizing. Um, and the 34 worked for me for most of these pieces. So yeah, I thought this was a beautiful piece and lovely quality. I was obsessed with the color, but I just, I just didn't think it suited me. It made me really sad because I was kind of hoping I would love it. <laughs> Next, I ordered a bikini. Um, I feel like I've been seeing a lot of pastel bikinis recently. I got like a pastel yellow one from Zara recently as well. But as soon as I saw this one, I was like, that is so cute. It is this mint, again, like mint pistachio green, but it's a little bit brighter than the dress. Um, so it's this bikini bandeau top, comes with the matching bottoms and they're like this like ribbed material. And I think I needed to get a size up in the top, I think. I don't have a try on clip for this one. I do think that this was like a little bit tight. I feel like the bottoms fit perfectly. Again, I think I got 30, yeah, I got 34 in both. And I just thought it looked so cute, but also it was kind of like, this is a little bit small. So I would be tempted to reorder this actually. And I thought it was really cute how the back sort of, the fastener looks like a little flower. I thought that was a really nice little detail. I'm obsessed with like this colour and the rib material so I would definitely reconsider reordering this because I think this was a really cute little bikini. Next I really wanted to show this sort of little shirt um, ruffle dress. It's in this beautiful like cream colour and it's sort of like a canvasy material. It's like a little button up and it ties in at the waist and then sort of flows out. I'm not going to be showing this very well, it's really hard to show so you'll see better in the try on clips but there's some noisy birds you know <laughs> but yeah i thought this was such a cute little dress this was the one thing that i got that was in sale so i did think it was like really worth the money and so far i kind of think this is the thing i'm super tempted to keep as i just thought it was really pretty a super casual everyday summer dress i really like these sleeves they're kind of like weird and different but they're sort of like those like t-shirts that have been in style recently where it's like off the shoulder and then it's like a slanted cutout. Kind of reminds me of that. But yeah, I did love the colour and the material and the way it sort of cinches in in the middle. And yeah, the fact this was in the sale, I think it was like down to like £35, was insane. I feel like Under the Stories are quite good for their sales. Even though they have quite a lot of expensive stuff, they pretty much always have a sale. So I'm going to go through a couple of the tops now. Um, so one thing that I, again, I'm a little bit tempted by this too, because I just think it's so beautiful, is this little sort of white cream little cami top. And it's got these like tortoise square buttons, like the kind of like little buckles. And I just think it's like a super quite thick, really good quality material. I think it's just a really nice way of making like a cami top, just a little bit different and a bit more unique. Yeah, just this with a little pair of jeans. I feel like it will just be such a cute little outfit. Yeah, as soon as I saw this on the website, I was just like, that is absolutely beautiful. And a little 
bit tempted. <laughs> Another top that I tried on, that, but I just thought, I've ordered so many shirts recently that I just don't know if I can justify keeping this one. I just don't think I get as much use out of it, but I do think it's adorable. And it's this little white, I don't know if you can see it because it's so bright, this like white collared, like embroidered shirt. It is so adorable. It sort of flows out a bit like a baby doll shirt. It is really, really cute and adorable. I don't know what else to say about it apart from I just felt super cute in it. It's got like little slight puff like balloon sleeves as well. I just love how it's all like embroidered and yeah, again, like the other top with just a pair of jeans, it just makes such a cute little simple outfit. I don't think I'm gonna keep this because I've been buying too many shirts recently. I mean, again, tempted. <laughs> again, I could really see myself wearing this though. One top that was a bit of like a, I really don't know why I ordered it. I kind of just ordered it like, We'll see what this looks like. Kind of really, really like it, even though I'm trying not to keep too much green stuff. And if I do, I like it to be quite like a pastel green. And to be fair, I feel like on camera it looks a lot more pastel than it is, but it's this like pastel and white ribbed little t-shirt. And one thing I really like about this is that it's like quite stretchy, but it's also quite a fitted t-shirt. So it's actually really quite flattering. It's not just like a throw on t-shirt, if that makes sense. It's like, quite nice and fitted, is what I'm trying to say. And I actually really liked how this looked and oh my God, I'm imagining this. I'm imagining this with a pair of blue dungarees and the vision is too cute. I'm telling myself that I can't keep it because it's it's green, Charlotte. I mean, there's only so much green you should put in your wardrobe. I've been trying to tell myself for months now that I'm like neutrals, neutrals, and then green comes in and throws it all away. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love this. It feels like such a nice quality material as well and I really am actually contemplating this. I just think it's such a cute little t-shirt and it's actually not even too expensive either. Again, another top that I thought was really cute. In fact, there's not a lot of bad stuff to say really in this video, is there? So this top is like a little black milkmaid little crop top, I'd probably say. This I think is so cute and it just fit lovely. See, in a way I could be tempted by every single piece in this, but I've got to be so strict with myself when it comes to and other stories because I could easily end up spending way too much money. Why is every single piece so beautiful? Like even this, it's just it fit perfectly in every single way. I'm not even gonna lie to you, like the little like sweetheart neckline, I think that's what you call it. All the little buttons, like even down to like the back, it's like, I don't know what you call it, it's like stretchy so it literally fits to the T. The little sleeves are so adorable as well. See, originally I said no to myself because I'm like, it's black and I don't have a lot of black tops, but now I actually really like it. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't go through to clothes twice because then it's like, it's giving them a second glance and remembering how much they actually were really lovely. <laughs> right, I feel like I have to talk about something that I didn't, I mean, I say I didn't like it. I, I mean, no, I did. I did, but I wouldn't keep it. I don't think so, at least. This video is turning into such a fail. Honestly, before filming this video, I was like, there's like one or two pieces that I really like and thinking about keeping. And now that I've gone through everything, my brain is like frazzled and I'm like, are you sure you didn't want to keep everything? <laughs> Cause I think I do now. This skirt, and now I'm looking at it twice. I'm trying not to, believe me. It's this, I don't know what you call this. It's like peri periwinkle. It's like a, a bluey purple. I don't know what that colour's called, but it's there's a word for it. And it's such a lovely colour. It's so cute. And pastel, of course. And it's just this little denim skirt. It did look freaking cute on, I must admit. Yeah, and it fit perfectly. I've literally nothing else to say about it apart from it just it's so cute. I do quite like that it kind of I wouldn't I don't want to say it puffs out, but it sort of goes out and then it's but it brings it back in. Almost like a denim pencil skirt, I feel, I feel like I wanna say. But yeah, even like the little buttons are like little like white pearly buttons, which are just so cute. I love like the little pockets. And this color, I'm really vibing with this color, I must admit. I don't own anything this color, but it's such like a, a bluey lilac color. It's so cute. Okay, I do actually have something I was a little bit disappointed in. One, it's like a jumper slash sweater. So the last time I did my end of the stories haul, I talked about how itchy all the jumpers were. And this one was that kind of level. It was like itchy. The second is that online it said sage, sage green. And when, you, when I looked at the pictures, 
like it looked like this really like nice like dusky sage almost like a khaki sage green i mean i don't know if you can see this but it basically came and it basically looks like neon alien green cute but like this is nowhere near the colour that I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was super itchy, which I guess it's just my skin can't tolerate it. This just, this colour, not my thing at all. Like, it looks like alien green to me. So I was a little bit disappointed by that one. But I've kind of accepted that me and under the, under the story jumpers just don't mesh. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my favourite piece now. Because as soon as I put it on, I kid you not, I was like, was this made for me? I was like, is, was this made to fit my body? It fit that well. I just think it's beautiful. So I saw, again, Freddie my love. I think she must have done an Under the Stories haul at some point, but she showed the dress version of this and I wasn't that blown away by it. But then she said, and they also did this in a jumpsuit. And I was like, yes, please. I would like to order that. So, um, I mean, this isn't gonna show very well because I've, unbuttoned it so it's this white denim jumpsuit basically i feel like that is so bright on camera right now oh my god can you even see it it has this really nice like white belt and it's like it is denim but it feels like denim canvasy and it's like it's like stretchy denim so like it's comfortable basically the thing i just love the most is that it obviously has these like puff sleeves and again it's got this like little sweetheart neckline which i'm just obsessed with and it just fits like a dream. It fits perfectly and it just looks so good. Just, it, you just suddenly put it on and you feel like a million bucks. You just look 10 out of 10 and all it is is just a jumpsuit that you've thrown on. And I'm a little bit obsessed with it. It is a bit expensive. I feel like when it comes to their, I mean, more of their high quality pieces. So like, if something's really expensive under the stories, it's usually like I put it on and I'm like, yeah, I can understand why. I never look at any of their pieces and go, that's overpriced. It's always like, yeah i get it if that makes any sense so like when i put this on i was like i understand the price point <laughs> um but yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with this and i have to keep it basically this is the one thing that was like i'm obsessed with you <laughs> the next thing i'm like i'm gonna try and not become re-obsessed with this because i think i've just about convinced myself that i shouldn't keep it but it's this little mini sage green satin skirt i originally wanted to order this in the ivory color um, but it was out of stock so I did order it in the sage green but I think I'm also obsessed with this one the only reason I kind of don't want to keep it is because I literally looked through all my clothes and I could not find anything that I would want to wear with it like a top that would go with this whereas when I think about the white ivory one I think I'd prefer to have this white satin skirt that I feel like would just go with so much more of my wardrobe. I feel like when the white one comes in stock, I might get that one instead. But it is so beautiful. Like, I can't. And it fits. Like it was made for your waist. That's the way it fits. It is so beautiful. I'm just a little bit obsessed with satin at the moment, so I feel like anything that's satin, I just want on me. So the last clothing piece I have is this sort of like light tan cardigan basically and with these like little tortoise shell buttons on as soon as i took this out of the packaging i was like oh this is soft i was a bit worried that this was going to be itchy like their knitwear i don't know what this is made out of but it's just the softest little cardigan i fell in love with it i fell in love with the color how soft it was the fit and i don't actually have that many cardigans i have like a white chunky knit that i got from zara a few months ago and I have like a tan mustardy, like more of a fluffy knit cardigan from Topshop, but that's about it. I don't really have a lot of like, especially like smaller lightweight cardigans, don't really have any. So I just think this will be really nice, especially more like the spring, I think. I've just been blown away with the quality of this cardigan. So I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to part with this one. I just think it's completely worth the quality. And I just think especially with the color of this and just, the style it's such like a I feel like it's such a staple for your wardrobe and that I mean if possible I'd never get rid of it probably so for that reason I think it is worth paying the money lastly I have two accessory pieces to show you the first being this pair of shoes as soon as I saw these I just thought this was right up my street I just thought I don't really have a pair of black block heels and they're sort of like yeah they're like a black suede on the heel they've just got pearls like 
all over this part, all around the ankle. And I haven't owned like a pair of like black ankle heels for quite a long time. In fact, at the moment, I've pretty much gotten rid of all my heels and I just have kitten heels right now. And I just think these would be a lot more comfortable to wear maybe. The only thing is, and I feel like I struggle with this with so many shoes. I struggle with this problem with ASOS shoes, a lot of Topshop shoes, and it's always that. I always find with my sizing that I always have a little bit of gap at the back. And I don't know if it's because I'm like a small size six, but most sixes fit me fine. There is a little bit of gap at the back, I feel like, and I don't know whether just to make it work, but at the same time, they don't really fit. And it makes me really sad because I know the size down would be too small. Well, I'm pretty sure they would. Well, maybe I should try the size down and end of the stories because they're just so adorable and I really wish I could keep them basically. <laughs> and then last but not least, I got a pair of earrings. I get so tempted by their jewellery, but I mean, if I added everything I wanted, I could spend hundreds on just their jewellery. So I just got one piece. Don't know if you can see them very well there. If not, I'll do a little close up shot, but I just thought these were absolutely beautiful. Yeah, there is just so much jewellery that I like from there. They just do gold jewellery, I feel like, so well. Yeah, I've been ordering a lot of gold jewellery in the last month, I feel like. So. so that is the end of my And Other Stories Spring Haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll try and link everything down below in the description for you. And if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!